How did Genghis Khan conquer Asia? Genghis Khan, born as Temujin in 1162, established one of the largest empires in history, conquering vast portions of Asia. His success was not just due to military prowess but also the Mongol army's ability to adapt to diverse geographical challenges. The geography of the vast steppes, deserts, and mountains played a critical role in shaping the Mongol Empire's rapid expansion. Genghis Khan's rise began on the Mongolian steppe, a vast region of grasslands spanning 2.6 million square kilometers. This environment shaped the Mongol people into expert horsemen and warriors. The Mongol army's mobility, traveling up to 100 miles a day on horseback, gave them a significant advantage over their adversaries. The open landscape of the steppe allowed for swift and large-scale maneuvers. The ability to survive in such harsh environments and maintain long campaigns with minimal resources made the Mongols a formidable force. This mobility and endurance became the cornerstone of their military success. One of Genghis Khan's most significant accomplishments was conquering northern China, ruled by the Jin dynasty. Despite the natural barriers of mountains, rivers and the Great Wall, the Mongols adapted their tactics. They employed siege warfare, using engineers captured from other regions to breach fortified cities. In 1215, they captured Zhongdu, which is modern-day Beijing, overcoming the region's geographic challenges. The conquest of the Southern Song Dynasty came later, after Genghis Khan's death. The Mongols adapted to the region's mountainous and riverine terrain by building a navy, a rare remove for a traditionally land-based force. Genghis Khan's campaigns in Central Asia were marked by rapid victories. The Mongol cavalry, well suited to the open plains of Central Asia, launched fast and devastating raids against the Khawarazmian Empire. Their ability to thrive in barren environments, where other armies struggled to survive, was a key factor in their success. In just two years, from 1219 to 1221, Genghis Khan's forces destroyed the Khwarazmian Empire, devastating cities and reshaping the region's power dynamics. After Central Asia, the Mongols advanced into the Middle East, targeting the Abbasid Caliphate and other Muslim states. Despite the deserts and mountains of the region, the Mongols adapted to desert warfare and crossed the vast Karakum and Kaizalkum deserts. In 1258, they captured Baghdad, a significant victory that marked the end of the Abbasid Caliphate. In Eastern Europe, the Mongols crossed the Carpathian Mountains to invade Hungary and Poland. Their cavalry remained effective, even in the rugged terrain of Europe. Whether they were navigating deserts, mountains or river systems, the Mongols modified their tactics to suit the environment. Their swift mobility, combined with the effective use of psychological and siege warfare, enabled them to conquer regions that were previously thought to be impenetrable. By 1279, the Mongol Empire had expanded to 24 million square kilometers, the largest contiguous empire in history. Genghis Khan's ability to leverage the advantages of geography and adapt to its challenges was crucial to his unprecedented military success across